Okay, so looking at theme three, unit 10, question eight, I'm really gonna be making that connection here between multiplication with fractions and multiplication with decimals. So in fourth grade, students did learn that how to find that equivalency, especially with tenths and hundredths between a fraction and a decimal. So they might need to be reminded of this, but this is a prerequisite skill. So thinking about how I've used my area model to show multiplication with fractions and that shading. So the pose of problem is a fraction, and then we're gonna move on. As you see, it's that equivalent decimal, 24 hundredths. So thinking how, and just for the sake of this, this is not the only correct answer, but I'm gonna shade four tenths. Sorry, my shading's a little rough, but I'm gonna shade four tenths by six six tenths and I'm gonna see just like I did with the fractions this amount this area of the two combined so I can see 24 hundredths same with this I have 12 tenths not the only correct answer but I'm going to show you an example of how we can solve this. So I have three tenths times four tenths. And once again, this area where those two overlap, I'm gonna see that I have 12 tenths shaded. So really making that connection. So how, thinking, asking, how is this the same as when I multiplied with fractions because multiplying with fractions is something that our students have spent a lot of time already practicing that year. So how is this similar? How is this different? And making those connections for them.